Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to our Daily Chronicles. And today is Poker Day. Many believe that this popular card game was originally an adaption of the Persian card game as Nas. The rules of which are exactly like poker but without flushes or straights. And here's a word to the wise. Ratio is already a mathematical word, but it has a new meaning related to the Twitter and social media. It is used as a verb to describe the act of flooding a tweet or user with negative comments and replies. To get ratioed means that your original tweet has lost its relevance. And for golden memories, on this day, 50 years ago, the first space station, Salyut 1, was launched into orbit by the Soviet Union. The unnamed capsule was in orbit and awaiting habitation when two days later, the Soviets launched so Soyuz 10, S-O-Y-U-Z, carrying three cosmonauts to the space station. The cosmonauts attempted to dock with the station for hours but were unsuccessful. They returned to Earth having failed to dock with the space station, but the events gave the world a glimpse of the future of space travel and exploration. Interesting. Can you imagine living back in those days, 50 years ago, and to actually see this on television? Amazing. Oh, and here's a word to the wise. It says here, which word is not like the others? We have L-O-L-L, -L -L, lol, slog, S-L-O-G, toil, T-O-I-L, and drudge, D-R-U-D-G-E, drudge. Let's see what the answer is. I won't have you wait until the end because I can't wait. <laughs> Let's see. To lull is to act lazily. The others mean to work hard. So lull, S, sorry, L-O-L-L, -L -L, lull. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Hmm. I've never heard of that word before. But like I say, you learn something new every day. And on this date, 1927, uh, Mia West was found guilty of violating moral charges relating to her Broadway play sex. When the judge asked if she was trying to show contempt for the court, she answered, on the contrary, your honor, <laughs> I was doing my best to conceal it. <laughs> I like that. And in 1934, Shirley Temple, who remembers Shirley Temple? She was such a doll. It says Shirley Temple made her debut in the movie Stand Up and Cheer. The film was about efforts undertaken during the Great Depression to boost morale. And in 1951, General Douglas MacArthur gave his farewell address to Congress saying, Old soldiers never die, they just fade away. For our daily trivia, General Douglas MacArthur won a Medal of Honor during World War II. His father had won the Medal of Honor during the Civil War. Amazing. And for the quote of the day, which is my favorite, the dreams of youth are the regret of maturity. Tim Curry said that. Today happens to be Tim Curry's birthday. If anybody knows who that is, he was born in 1946. He is a prolific English stage, television, and film actor known for his delightfully nefarious character. He found fame with the 1975 cult movie, The Rocky Horror Show. I remember that movie, The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Curry has worked on many celebrated theatrical productions such as Amadeus, Hare, The Pirates of Penzance, and Spamalot. Sorry, Spamalot. 
Some of his key film projects include Annie, Legend, Clue, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, and Kinsey. Oh, sorry, and Kinsey. Curry also has a successful career as a voice actor and singer, both on the soundtracks of his acting project and as a solo artist. Two of his albums are Read My Lips and Fearless. Here's his face. Maybe you can see him right there. Probably looks familiar. I always remember him in the the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And they play that every Halloween. Okay, and now for the special days, because every day we have a special day. And today we have Mona Lisa Monday. Since the monthly theme is April, with Da Vinci celebrate one of his greatest masterpiece, the Mona Lisa. And we know the Mona Lisa, right? She's right there. And we also have Mathematical Day for those who like to work with numbers. Celebrate Mathematics Day because April is Mathematics Awareness Month. We have Ashley Judd's birthday. Join us in wishing the actress who was born in 1968. She comes from a very successful family. It says, can you name her famous mother and sister? I'm sure you know them. Naomi and Wyona Judd. Wynona, sorry. Wynona Judd. And we also have Hanging Out Day. Project Laundry Lists. Join hundreds of organizations from around the country to educate communities about energy consumption. Hanging Out Day was created to demonstrate how it is possible to save money and energy by using a clothesline. Boy, I remember those when I was a kid and we had the clothes pins. We would used to hang our clothes outside to dry. I haven't seen one of those in a very long time. We also have First Women to Run the Boston Marathon. Many years ago, women were not permitted to participate in the Boston Marathon. On this day in 1967, Catherine Switzer signed up to run the Boston Marathon as K.V. Switzer. In doing so, she concealed her gender and gained entry. She finished the marathon, but marathon officials refused to count her participation because she was a female. It wasn't until 1972 that women were permitted to run the marathon. Switzer commemorated the 50th anniversary of this event by running in the 2017 Boston Marathon on April 17. Wow, amazing. Women have come a long way. Very good. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the Daily Chronicle for today. And uh, you will see Paige tomorrow, and you'll see me the following day. Until next time, bye-bye.